Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. Okay, so I wanted, I wanted to say something. I think it's really important right now. Uh, it's Thursday, April 4th. So this eclipse that's coming up. So we just went into Mercury retrograde on the eclipse day, the 8th, April 8th is also the new moon. The eclipse is here. We also have that comet. Now all of this has an effect on the planet. If you don't know this, for people who haven't studied physics to any level or degree or basic science, not basic science, there's a word I'm looking for. The moon and the planets have a pull on the earth. This is why we call it like the, the oh God, it's called the ocean. It's, I'm gonna call it the lunar pull, but that is not the name, I'm, I just forgot it right now. So everybody knows that the anyone that is educated at a certain level of science knows that yeah, the earth or the moon has an absolute effect on the entire ocean from north to south. It pulls it in an oblong way on both sides of the earth. And this absolutely has a magnetic and or, what's the word I'm looking for? Hold on a second. Gravitational pull on the human body. And this does affect our energy. It affects our literal electrical energy system, which affects our brain, which affects our emotions, etc., etc. So if you did not know this, your heartbeat beats on and by electrical pulses. If you did not have electricity shooting through your body, you couldn't flex your muscle, you couldn't lift your arm, you couldn't open your mouth, you couldn't talk. Your brain operates off of electrical impulses, meaning electricity. So for those people who say, oh, I don't believe that, well, maybe go to college and get an education. And for those people who don't believe there's such thing as an electromagnetic pull from the moon and the planets and the sun, well, go get an education. Now here's the deal, the hospitals and the police forces, and I believe the fire departments, when it comes to th the week of or about three to five days out from a full moon, guess what they do? They increase their staff because it is a statistical fact that they've been following since the, I don't know, 1940s or maybe even earlier than that. It, it is a very extremely consistent every time when the full moon comes, people get in more accidents, people are more violent, there's more more aggressive acts and on and on and on there's more arrests so they have to have a, a more people in the police force during that time of the month and also at the hospital and also the fire department this is just statistical facts now i'm not saying that they're saying it's a spiritual thing they're like we don't know for whatever reason when the full moon starts to come out people get a little nutty now the one caveat i will admit i'm not sure about the fire fire department but I'm absolutely sure about the police department I've heard this from police officers I've heard this from nurses I've heard this from doctors etc etc so here's what I want to talk about I've got a couple things I want to mention in this video number one if you are going through you feel exhausted you feel tired you feel you feel emotionally drained to the, the point you cannot deal with other people's emotions, guess what? That's part of this, this full moon, this um, solar eclipse that's coming up. It is emotional and it will burn up a lot of emotional energy. It will drain you. It will make you feel exhausted. So drink extra water. I've noticed I've been extra dehydrated, like insanely dehydrated. It doesn't make sense. Um, drink water, get your fruit, get your vegetables in, drink, eat, get plenty of protein, and get rest. If there's one thing I would recommend, I would recommend deep breathing techniques and meditation. Also yoga or stretching for the next five plus days. So we're April 4th. This will probably come out on the 5th or 6th, so the next three, four days. There's a technique that I teach, it's on my videos, it's called Ha Breathing. Click on my name, Mike Colleen, and then right now it says maximize your potential. So click on my name, and that'll take you to the home page. Scroll down about three or four. There will be th uh, three videos, and then right below that are some purple videos, a lot of them. And the first two are about Ha Breathing. I would really, really do that exercise for at least seven to 12 minutes twice a day. 
if you're really stressed or you really need to, to kind of ground yourself, I would do it for more than 12 minutes. Another thing, you may be feeling like hopeless, helpless, like it's not worth it. I'm going to tell you right now, this is just the effect of this solar eclipse that's coming. All of it. So here's what's going on. Right now, we have the solar eclipse that's building. The full moon itself is building. Okay. We have, we just went, we literally just went to Mercury retrograde about, I think, five or six days ago. So now we're in that energy. We have the new moon that's going to come on the 8th, the same day, night of the solar eclipse. Okay. And we also have the Devil's Comet, which is showing right now over the horizon just after sunset. All of this is having a magnetic effect on the entire planet and especially our emotions. So the number one thing you can do right now is go with the flow. Just go with it. You feel tired? Go to sleep. You feel like you want to cry? Then cry. You feel like you want to collapse? Then collapse. Go with it. It's going to, it's, it, number one, it's absolutely okay to feel these emotions and these issues that are coming up right now. In other words, just go with it. Be okay with it. Because right now, for the next three, four, five days or so, it, this is the way it's going to be. It may not be quite five days, but for the next three plus days, it's going to be this way. So it, 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 we're, we're just going through a transition of energy. That's all it is. And it's going to be fine in a few days. So once we get there, you're going to be like, oh, God, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air. Now, if I didn't already mention it, you might be having some really bad dreams or chaotic dreams or just very vivid dreams. That's okay, too. All of this is a shifting and clearing of your energy where issues are coming up, emotions, maybe an ex, memories, etc. Don't worry about it. Go with it. It's going to be fine in a few days. Here's another issue that I've personally experienced. Um... And it's something I don't really like to, to bring up because uh, I like this to be a bright, shiny, happy channel. But we got to deal with, you know, the dark side as well. The, how to explain this? Um, hold on. All right, I'm just going to spit it out. Their black magic that they're doing or the, they're hiring people to, to do or have done black magic on you in the past, it is not working. It is wearing off. It's... A lot of spells that were put on you are completely deleted. They're completely turned off. They're disconnected. They're completely destroyed, okay? You may have noticed in the last few months to nine months or more, like the stuff that was happening before, it's just like, like the unbelievable dark dreams and stuff like, what the hell is this? That stuff's not happening anymore. It may, it, okay, it may have started happening in the last week or so, okay? But that's because this whole solar eclipse and etc. There, it's like they're giving their last shot. You know, they're trying their last ditch effort to save their their system, the way that they live their life by controlling us, manipulating us. All of that stuff is gone. Now, here's another aspect of that. You may not have realized this. But they've been doing black magic on you, and you're like, well, I haven't noticed it. And you're like, it's because it's bouncing back on them. Like, I noticed that about, oh, more than a year ago. And then it began to increase. Like, it's bouncing back to them. Like, what's the word? Um, Like, to the 10th power. Like, it's multiplied. Okay, I'm going to read something off from someone who posted on last night's post. So, I'm going to post this on the 5th. All right, so um, his name or his channel is crazy. So you'll see at crazyc99. I like what he said and the way he said it. He said, I think the eclipse will shut down and block the energy harvesting of the narcissist from the impasse. I think this will restore order and balance, but all the usual symptoms of injured narcissists will follow, so beware. In other words, they're going to freak out. It's going to like freak them out, scare them, and they're going to be chaotic for a while. So just like the moon blocking the evil world system and the zombie population from seeing uh, and benefiting from the energy, light, and warmth, and the sun. So I actually should have read that all together. So the injured narcissist will follow, so beware. Just like the moon blocking the evil world system and the zombie population from seeing and benefiting from the energy, light, and warmth of the sun. 
It's a rude awakening and a kick in the mouth for them, to say the least. They won't stop otherwise. I'm excited and have a deep sense of peace and contentment. In order to see his comment, I don't know why YouTube does this, but for his comment, you're going to have to click on the sort by button at the top of the comments. Click on sort by and then click on newest first and then his will pop up. So just like I said in my video last night uh, on this solar eclipse subject, um, it's like I said, it's like you, there's going to be, f f it's like fresh energy. It's like you're going to be lots of energy because I th it's like they're disconnecting. They're, uh, they're going to be unplugged from us. And all of a sudden you're just going to feel free. You're going to feel energized. You're going to feel fresh. All I, all I really know is there is going to be a really good shift for us. Okay, there's something that has changed for most of you, okay? Um, if you, okay, so if you've been dealing with narcissist abuse most of your life, your whole life, and you're just realizing it now, and you got hurt really bad in the last three to five years, even the last two years, and you went through this really long dark night of the soul. So I used to go through dark night of the souls, but it would be like three months or nine months or something like that. But when you go through that really, really deep, dark one like a lot of people have been going through in the last four plus years is you're like this is an ending so a year a year and a half two years even longer three years and i would say about three and a half years for me so i started coming out of it about i want to say nine to twelve months ago like all of a sudden things started turning around you can go watch go back and watch when i first start my narcissist video i am not a happy camper i have a lot of anger i'm hurt I'm upset, but then watch what happens as we progress. You're just like, listen to my voice right now. I'm not even, it's just like, it's like my, my voice, my energy is fresh right now. So here's the, the purpose that and point and why I'm sharing what I just shared in the last minute is a lot of us have been through multiple dark night of the souls and they're painful. You hate them. You don't even want to be here, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So here's the deal though. Most of you are already there. Some of you are almost there. So myself, I'm at a point now to where I don't go through Dark Night of the Soul anymore. What happens though, it's not like I don't get information and learnings and expansions and all that. The difference is this, is it's, um, it's like, it's just like, oh, an aha moment, a realization, a learning, instead of it being this real painful, you know, you got to isolate yourself, you avoid people. It's like, it's not like that. It's like, oh, okay. It's like this smooth transition. All right, I got it. So when you go through a dark night of the soul, it is not a fun place. It is dark. It's, it's unhappy. It's painful. It's emotionally painful and exhausting. And... There's a lot of fear and a lot of emotional shame, etc., whatever that goes with it. So it's literally like going through the birth canal. It's like being birthed again. It is painful. It is scary. There's lots of noise, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There's confusion. And so, so giving birth and or going through birth is a very painful experience mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And that's what Dark Night of the Soul used to be for you. So now it's not like that anymore. It doesn't mean, okay, I've arrived. I'm completely done growing and healing. No, no, no. Completely done expanding and healing. No. It, there's, there's a shift. And the shift is this, okay. I, the best, there's someone I heard this from a couple months ago. But there's a plant in Australia where essentially it doesn't have that painful birth experience. It's not like a seed pops off and falls into the ground and goes through the painful growth experience. And it's got to be in under the soil in darkness. And that's what we were like. We were going through this really, we had to break off from our parent and then we had to go into the dirt and maybe hidden three to six inches underneath in darkness for six months to a year or whatever. Now all that's done. The difference is this. It's almost like instead of this, this painful break off, experience it's like a new shoot goes underneath the soil and goes outwards away from the main plant and then it sprouts up there's no pain there's no there's no painful experience it's just like oh there's another one. Oh, there's another it's very smooth or like you could pick a piece of it off and plant it in the dirt and it starts to grow instantly 
So all I'm saying right now is if you are not at that point yet, you're almost there. For those of you who have healed and you're coming out of this isolation and you're kind of wondering, you're not going to go through that again. So the painful experience is done. It's like now you are on an adventure. You're on a journey of learning, discovery, and also receiving more and more of your power. So my healing abil abilities in the last four years, maybe five, it was re it really impacted about four years ago. Like, holy shit. Like, it was just amplified. Okay, so there's one more thing I almost forgot. I meant to say earlier in the video. So here's the deal. There is an absolute electromagnetic pull from the moon, from the, from comets, from even, you know, one thing I learned this, I think this was in like eighth grade or maybe like high school. It was, I think it was eighth grade that when moons on different planets, see Jupiter or whatever, when they shift out of place, that has a, a magnetic effect on the earth that can cause earthquakes. I learned this in science class. So yes, other planets and other planets, moons and our moon, etc., do have a, a pull on our system and it can cause hurricanes, it can cause tidal pools, you know, earthquakes, etc. So now, here's what I want to say. When this moon aligns in between the Earth and the Sun, this is a unique I, and I mean this on a, on a, on a mathematical, scientific um, know, definition. I'm, there's, I can't find the right word for it. But when it aligns or, go, or starts going into that alignment, do not be surprised if there is earthquakes and, and stuff on the planet. It's just, this is a very unique alignment that the planet doesn't experience very often. And I would not be surprised that, yeah, this, this is going to cause some, it's going to cause some problems. I wish I knew someone that I could speak to personally who absolutely understands the mag magnetic pull and how all the system works and like what is going to happen when this aligns with the sun or as it gets closer and closer to it. What is it going to be like a magnified kind of like using leverage or like a fulcrum. Is it going to increase the mag magnificational pull on the planet and is that going to cause some kind of problem. Is it going to cause an earthquake on the moon and vice versa etc. Like I wish I had someone that was educated on that level and say, yeah, here's what's going to happen. It's going to cause this pressure from here to there. And, and this is, and it's going to be five times more than usual or no, it's going to be the same as usual as a full moon or what, you know, I don't know, but it would be nice to talk to someone who could, who could express that. Now I would recommend, especially if you live in any of the cities that are in the area of when it's going to have the actual full, um, solar eclipse, I would recommend that you stock up on about three days of water or, you know, st stock up on extra water, get some protein, you know, maybe some fruit and vegetables, stock up on about three days extra food and toilet paper, et cetera, because the, the amount of people that are flocking into those areas right now is going to overwhelm your system. So your grocery stores might just be empty, not because of panic, but just there's a lot of people coming in their RVs, staying at the hotels and they're buying everything up. Now, the National Guard has already been called out to police these areas. Why? Because there's going to be a lot of people. Do I think it's going to be some spiritual thing? No, probably not. I think it's just going to be there's going to be a lot of people. It's going to overwhelm the cities. And that's a wise thing to do. Now, let's get to some cool stuff, which you probably have already seen a dozen times or heard. The really cool thing was in 2017, seven, seven years ago, it went through the cities of Salem. I might have this back. Wait, actually, let me pull it up. I think I have it in my notes here. Hold on. All right, forgive me if I have this backwards, okay, but I did make some notes here. So, okay, so it's, so here's the really cool thing. Seven years ago, on, on the 20, in the uh, year 2017, the, the eclipse went through, the same eclipse went through seven cities named Salem, which is a biblical city. Now, this time, April 8th, 2024, it's going through seven cities named Neneva on April 8th. Again, biblical cities. At the very least, yeah, I think it's really, really cool. I think it's one 
hell of a coincidence that it went through seven cities named Salem. Uh, and now listen closely, seven years ago, and now again, it's going through seven cities named Nineveh, both biblical cities. Now here's the kicker. It makes a cross, which I'm sure you've heard of, okay? So the last one went through across the country. This one is going kind of south to northeast, but basically up. And it's making a cross, okay? Because it's not crossing in the middle like an X. It's crossing at the top. Not at the very top, but just below, like a cross. Now here's the, now here's the cool thing. When it crosses in the, in the center point, it's crossing through the city named Rapture. Now, if that doesn't freak you out, <laughs> I don't know what does. So, is this biblical? I have a very strong feeling. Yes, I really do believe that personally, but you don't have to, and it's absolutely okay. At the very least, you got to admit, that's one hell of a coincidence. Biblical cities, seven of them, seven of them again, seven years ago, centerpiece rapture. That is just, that's blown my mind. Personally, I'm excited about If you can't hear my voice, I am absolutely excited. It's going to be awesome. Now, here's the one thing that's very possible. It's very possible that there will be a spiritual rapture, that there will be like an uplifting of spirit. Like it's going to be a shift, a dynamic shift. And I think if it's not a physical rapture, and, and do I think there's going to be a physical rapture? Mm, I'm open to it. But I think there's a strong possibility it's going to be a spiritual, emotional, energetic rapture. Let me kind of give you an example. I, I forgot what it was, but earlier today or last night, a lot of memories came up and I saw them. I saw them from a different perspective. Like I saw them with clarity. Like all of a sudden I understood something that happened a long time ago. I was like, oh, that's what that was. Like there was this clarity. And I think a lot of you may already be having this. It may be upsetting. It may be mad mem bad memories. It might be something that's going on right now or someone that you've known for years. And like, whoa, and all of a sudden you're, you're seeing them for who they truly are. And it might be uncomfortable. It might hurt you. It might, it might make you sad. Another realization I had, I think it's going to affect empaths and narcissists the most. I think the empaths are going to benefit massively when it, the light's going to shine more. We're going to open up more. And I think the narcissists, it's like the light is shining on their darkness and thus they're being revealed and they're, 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 going, they're miserable and they're going to get even more miserable. And it's going, to, it's going to reveal them even more to where even the common person who may have seen, oh yeah, narcissism is blown up on social media, but they, they don't get it. Like, you know, I think they're gonna get it. And I think it's gonna freak out a lot of people. And I think the narcissists are gonna be terrified. And the people who have been living in the illusion of the lies on a, on a political level, on a world level, that have just been going along with all this really messed up stuff and believing the stuff that they've been lied to about, I think they're going to see it and it's going to shatter. It's going to shatter their core belief systems about life, about the groups they've been following, the policies they've been following, and, f and literally yelling and screaming at people and hurting people that it's going to be a shattering of their own of their own belief system of everything about themselves and it's going to be very hard for them to deal with because they're going to have to face themselves and look in the mirror and they're going to have to admit that I have joined the lie and on some level I knew that I was joining the lie and I was supporting the lie and I was and I was get you know being mean to people and trying to force people to accept the they're going to this is what they're going to have to face And to be honest with you, I believe on some level over the last 12 plus months, they've already started this. And I think the last 10 days, it has really, it's like the light's gotten brighter and they're just going, oh shit. Like they're having like these images kind of pop up in their head, et cetera, et cetera. They're starting to see it, but it's going to increase. It's going to intensify. Either way, I'm excited for what, what we're going through right now. I think this is absolutely awesome. God bless you guys. 
Uh, if you like this video, click subscribe, click the like button, make a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the next few days, the next week. All right, bye-bye.